WWE 2K21 is canceled. Now, I know why. You know, I think most people know why. It's because of this pandemic, this coronavirus, you know, that's been going crazy in the world and isn't slowing down at all. Um, that probably is the main reason, but, um, in a way, this is a good thing, man. The game has gotten progressively worse every single year. And honestly, man, the game needs to be canceled. It, it I've said it before. I already said it in WWE 2K20 when I, when I talked about the game months ago, I said they need to cancel this game. They need to cancel the next game, spend more time on the next game, and, you know, come back for a WWE 2K22 or 2K23 or something. Spend more than a year, or less than a year, on a game, because it is not enough time to get a good game out of it, and it shows, man. When you, when you make a game in less than a year, you know, and it comes out, and it's terrible you know you know it makes it really hard for people to care about it anymore when when you release a game yearly you got to make sure that it has you know it's in quality condition the game looks good it runs good you know there's not a ton of glitches and and, and problems and stuff like that the game is fun you know none of the 2k20 was not any of that you know it, it, they messed up everything and they're still releasing DLC for it as if people care, you know? No one's playing that. They've probably lost 70% of their audience on that game, man. The only people that are probably still playing it are people who are content creators and they that's what they do. Or they're people that actually think the game is good, which is not a lot of people. So this is great. I'm glad. Hallelujah. I I'm glad that this is being canceled and, you know, it's not it's not being canceled for the, the reason I want to be canceled. I want it to be canceled because the, I want them to realize the game is bad and it needs more time. Not I, I, don't, I didn't think that it needed to be a, a pandemic for people to finally realize or, you know, for people to finally cancel it and or not work on it right now. But this is great. They, they um, 2K also said that they're going to announce something tomorrow. Um, for wrestling fans, uh, some exciting news. I don't know. For, uh, this is like supposed to be on Monday. I don't know what it's going to be, honestly. Um, but, you know, I, I can't imagine it's going to be anything that exciting. But they're hyping it up. Um, but 2K21 is canceled. The game is, I mean, it, this is great because the games lately have been awful and I've voice my displeasure on the game a few times on this channel because I really care about the series. I've been playing the wrestling games for a very long time. I started with SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 when that came out in like 2006 or so. So that's the that's where I started and you know, I want I want that to continue, you know, to go, I want it to go, I want it to continue, but I want the series to go back to those old games, you know, um, to go back to what made those games so great, because SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 was fantastic, SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 was really good, I think, even though some people wouldn't say it's that, that great, you know, and then after that, the next great game was SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, and then it was SmackDown, and then it was 2K14. Even though it was had 2K in the name, it was made by THQ. And then what, since 2K15 came out, where 2K finally took over, it's gotten worse and worse and worse and worse. 2K15 was very boring. It was very bland. It had great graphics, but it was really... Not that all exciting. There wasn't a lot of content to the game. 2K16 was pretty good. I think that was a pretty good game. 2K17, I never even played. 2K18, boring. 2K19, boring. But it looked good. 2K20 is awful in every way. And 2K21 would have probably been even worse. So the fact that it's being canceled and that they're going to have to come back to this later 
is a good thing, and hopefully they'll get more time to work on a game that everyone will like, you know? A game where they can fix the, the glitches, the hair physics, the physics in general, the, you know, the terrible lag and the terrible uh, running. I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I could hardly run the game on my PS4. I don't know if that's my PS4 or not, but the game run like butt on my PS4. And it just wasn't enjoyable at all. It made me break my controller. It made me so angry. Um... Uh, so, this is a good thing. I ho hopefully that the series comes back and and, and, it's, and it's good again. And they fix all these issues. And they put things in the game like a GM mode that people want. That hasn't been in the game in years. And once they go back to doing that, I will play the game again. But until they fix it, I will no longer be playing a WWE game. Until they release a good one until they release one that is getting positive reviews from people and is good all around i will buy it if it's anything like 2k20 if it's anything like 2k19 not getting it i don't care okay it has to be great because i'm 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 so tired of the series being being average or mediocre or awful as it has been lately so until they release a great game again, I'm done with the series. Same thing with Madden, man. I'm done with Madden. I don't care. Madden 21 is still happening. I don't care. I am not playing it. I will never play it. I won't play another Madden game until they fix it, until they get better. Uh, and, they're, and the games are more exciting to play. But until then, I'm not touching any of it. I'm not touching any of the sports games. Especially WWE 2K.